Today, we talk about sustainability. Sustainability is just a word. It's something that doesn't mean anything. So if you don't improve really in a concrete way this strategy in your business. And we have a lot of mega trends today. Circular economy, digital transformation, everything that could be used to reduce the waste consumption, to reduce transportation, to make a really profitable, sustainable innovation strategy in your business. By the way, the point is that additive manufacturing today is a very good key enabling technology to do that. It means that you can design thinking by thinking additive. You can improve and functionalize the performance of the components in their use. And then you can also repair some components and then you can improve the life cycle of the component, especially if they are expensive and then you can recycle. It means that it's not just the ethics of innovation. The sustainability and the circular economy is something that could also make you more competitive because you can save cost and then you can be very profitable and much more profitable in your business thanks to the additive manufacturing strategy. How you can be sustainable without reducing productivity? Apparently, sustainability and productivity are not compatible in terms of cost of technologies and resources, but you have to explore, to find a way to be green and to be competitive. And if you will be successful in this exercise, you will boost your business like nobody else. Here we are in our advanced laser center and we will be your partner for this scope. Let's go inside and let's see what we can do together. Then about sustainability. Here we have a machine and a process that is very suitable for repairing and recording application. The laser than 430 DED is the entry level direct energy deposition machine. And uh, ciao Erika. Ciao Paolo. Then you can explain better than me probably the process and the technology. Please. Sure. The process of uh, direct energy deposition is based on the interaction between an energy source, that is the laser, and uh, a material in the form of powder. The laser melts the powder following a precise trajectory and uh, geometry driven by a multi-axial head like the one that we can see in this machine. The powder is uh, transported and focused on the working area thanks to an inner gas and uh, through a four-beam nozzle like that one. So practically you can bring the powder wherever you want. Yes, exactly. Wow. This is possible. And uh, which kind of application could you perform with this machine? Recording and repairing of pre-existing surfaces is uh, at the moment uh, the most important application for this process but also the functionalization of surfaces or the freeform depositions, like the one that we can see here. But we have also an example of recording and repairing of this part. So practically, this is the part at the end of the process and then this is the rework part. There is no difference yes, between Yes, exactly. The... You can see that there are no difference between the two parts. Amazing, really amazing. Yeah. And do you already have any success story about this application? Yes, we can uh, explain about uh, Enel case. Enel is one of our partners that has installed in uh, their facility in uh, Tuscany, in Santa Barbara, one of our Laserdyne 795. Actually, they use the machine in order to repair some components and part of their implants of production. In this way, they have a very big reduction cost and they are insert inside uh, the circular economy definition. Oh, great story. Congratulations, Erika, for this Thank job. You. Very good Thank job. You. So, at the end, our wish is that uh, you can propose to us uh, some application, case study, and then we can uh, assess this case study together, or we can uh, try to make some application study together here in this center. Yes, sure.